Hello everyone, how are you gang? Welcome to another video. There has been a lot of confusion over the CPU cores and threads. This is what we are gonna talk about in this tutorial. We will see the major differences between them and highlight their main characteristics. Ready? Let's get started. The biggest difference between a core and a thread is that core is a physical component whereas thread is a virtual component. Core increases the amount of work that can be done in a given time, while thread helps in organizing and delivering that workload to the CPU with the utmost ease. In simple words, you can think of core as the mouth of a person, while threads can be compared with the hands of a man. As you know, mouth is responsible for carrying out all the eating. On the other hand, hands help organize the workload. The more threads you have, the better your work queue is organized. As a result, you will get an optimized performance. Alright, I hope you got the basic idea. Now let's discuss them one by one. Basically, core is a hardware component contained within the physical CPU. We can say it's like a small CPU within a bigger CPU. Its performance depends on the number of cores and the speed at which the individual core can execute instructions. Each core works as an individual processing unit on a single chip. They receive commands from operating system and process all the operations independently. Each core basically does what the operating system tells them to do. I think you all know that CPUs come in different forms such as dual core, quad core, octa core and so on. A single CPU can have 1 to 18 cores. Some modern CPUs can have even up to 64 cores. The number of cores in a system determines how many programs and tasks it can execute at once. For example, a single core processor can handle one task at a time. A quad core processor can handle up to four simultaneous tasks. And octa core can handle eight tasks and so on. You can think of each core as a worker who receives instructions and processes the data. The most important thing to remember is, as the number of cores increases, so does processing speed. The more cores a processor has, the faster it can carry out tasks. Alright, now let's move on to thread. Thread is typically created by the operating system. That helps the CPU to handle multiple tasks more efficiently. As I said before, threads are like the hands of a person. Mouth does all the eating while the hands are there to help and organize the work. Technically, we can say thread is a sequence of instructions given to the CPU by a program. It's like a component of a process. Think of it as a management system for feeding tasks to the core. Okay, now as you understand the basic purpose of cores and threads, it's also important to know the difference between a physical core and a logical core. A physical core is actual hardware on the CPU. And a logical core is like a code in the computer, also known as a thread. For example, let's say you have a quad core processor with four threads, which means it has four physical cores and four logical cores. Now let's suppose with a quad core processor you have eight threads, which means it has four physical cores and eight logical cores. So basically, logical cores are different communication pathways that your system has to process the information. As you have 8 threads, you have actually 8 logical cores because there are 8 ways for the information to get processed through your system. Alright, I hope you got this, right? Now, what's the reason for having more threads? This is what you really need to understand. The more threads a CPU can execute at once, the more tasks it can complete. Let's take an example. Here is a quad core processor having 4 cores and 8 threads. 2 threads for each core. So each core can work on 2 different types of threads. For example, when the core works on the first thread, let's just say core 2 receives a command to open a file in drive C until hard drive works on it and opens the file. In the meantime, core 2 can work on the second thread. Let's suppose in the second command it receives an instruction to play the movie. It starts working on it and plays the movie. This continues in the same fashion for other cores. This is the main benefit of having two threads. 
core can switch onto the second thread to work on a different task which reduces the downtime and improves efficiency in the early days there were only single threaded processor that could only perform one thread at a time it's also important to note that threads are best used for allowing the processor to do multiple tasks at the same time making the process faster for example due to threads you can browse the web and listen to the music simultaneously in a nutshell cores allow you to complete more tasks while threads speed up the process all right so this was my comparison on cpu core and thread i hope you understood the difference thanks for watching see you in the next video